all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber may god bless you for returning back here for giving me the love and the support i really appreciate much but if it's the first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you'll always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends yo tumepigwa na kitukizito kichwani if you understand swahili i know right now you're laughing a lot <laughs> but if i translate this in english so that you guys that understands english you can get to laugh with us we have been hit with something heavy on the head <laughs> Yes, why is that? You're gonna find out very, very soon. So today's video is going to be a story time of a Ugandan lady by the name of Brenda, 29 years old, who found love on online dating apps after three years of searching for that right man. So dear beautiful ladies, if you are on online dating apps searching for the one, grab a glass of water, a glass of wine, some popcorn, juice, and enjoy this beautiful online dating success love story because it is going to encourage you, it is going to inspire you, it's going to give you energy to keep moving forward, to keep searching for that right man because Brenda passed through a lot before finding the one yes right now she is celebrating but there was a time Brenda was in the same place where you are now telling herself maybe it's not gonna work out for me due to all the challenges she was facing but you see god is good so that is why i'm telling you after watching this video you will be like yes i can do it let me keep on pushing but to add on that guys this love story will be full of afro cinemas my goodies lover <laughs> i won't forget today about that <laughs> so get ready but what makes this story very very unique it's because of the country where brenda found the one and that's why i told you we have been hit with something heavy on the head <laughs> brenda found love on online dating apps with a guy from romania <laughs> Yes, guys, and I remember a year ago, I did a video and I talked about men to be careful about when you are on online dating apps. And Romania was a man. Guys, I am not going to eat my words because what I advised in that video, it is what exactly Brenda did to find out if Alex is serious or he is not serious. So if he was not serious, then we could have put him in the category of men from Romania who are less serious. But we thank God he turned out to be in the disclaimer where I told you guys not all. So when you are chatting, just be careful and ask one, two, three, four questions to find out if you should continue or not. So I know you, my beautiful ladies, right now you'll be like, oh my God, I ignored that Romanian guy. Oh my God, Bella, you told me to stop chatting with that Romanian guy. <laughs> if I told you to stop chatting with him, it's because I saw red flags. <laughs> he was in the category of men who are less serious, okay? <laughs> and some of you will be like, right now I am going to give them chance, you know? <laughs> Remember, if you decide to give them chance, then watch the red flags. <laughs> and also go back to that video that I did one year ago and watch it very, very well. It's going to guide you. If you are chatting with a guy or if you're going to give a Romanian guy a chance on online dating apps. So without wasting much of your time, let us jump into this beautiful, unique, encouraging, inspiring, 
inspiring <laughs> online dating success love story of Brenda from Uganda and Alex from Romania. So dear friends, we are going to be starting Brenda's story by digging a little bit deeper into her past love relationship experience so that we get to understand where Brenda came from and why did she join online dating apps. So the first question that comes into your mind <laughs> was Brenda dating a Ugandan guy before joining online dating apps or never? <laughs> And if yes, how did it go? After that, we need to know what pushed Brenda to join online dating apps and what happened. Because through her experience on online dating apps, we get to learn a lot. For us who are on online dating apps, still searching for the right man. So friends, was Brenda in a love relationship before with a Ugandan guy? If yes, how did it go? Now, let's find out. Brenda tells us yes, she was in a love relationship before with a Ugandan guy and this whole started when she was in high school. At that time, was 18 years old. Found this Ugandan guy at school, they fell in love and you know started their lovey-dovey. <laughs> yeah, and that guy was the first guy in Brenda's life. Really loved that guy very, very much. And the guy, of course, showed Brenda that he was crazily in love with her. So they started and eventually finished high school. After finishing high school, it did not end there. They kept on with their relationship. They could communicate. Something else that we need to know is that Brenda started high school in Kampala. Ugandans will call it Kla. But Brenda, originally where she is from, is in the western part of Uganda, Fort Porter. But this guy was from Kla. <laughs> yeah, where Brenda was studying her high school. So they kept on communicating with their lovey Davi and Brenda decided to go for a nursing school. So while at a nursing school, because they kept on communicating with a boyfriend, <laughs> they started talking of the boyfriend going to the western part of Uganda where Brenda was studying to visit her. And this boyfriend of Brenda had another guy friend who was from the western part of Uganda, Fort Porto. <laughs> yes, so I was like, I'm going to use that chance to come visit you and also get to visit that guy friend. Brenda was really happy that the boyfriend is coming to visit her because it was really long since they saw each other. <laughs> yeah, so yes, this boyfriend came and when he arrived, told that guy friend to go pick him at the bus station. The friend went, picked him and then took him to Brenda. So when this guy arrived, Brenda was talking with the guy because he is from the same place. They speak the same local language. So Brenda talked in vernacular language, you know, <laughs> their local language to that guy. You know, there is that feeling that you feel when you talk your language or your local language <laughs> with someone you feel at home. <laughs> this happens most of the times when I call my friends who are here in Italy or you know Europe in the diaspora and they are Tanzanians or Kenyans then we start speaking in Swahili. <laughs> Even if our husbands are on the call with us, you know, <laughs> we just tell them, pardon us. <laughs> yeah, because you feel at home, you feel really, really good. So that's why Brenda talked with that guy in her local language. But the boyfriend's reaction was not good at all. The guy changed and started accusing Brenda cheating on him with that friend whereby it was brenda's first time to see that friend of the boyfriend <laughs> and brenda adds on that the languages are not all that different like you can't get anything at all <laughs> they are somehow similar so even if you are from the northern part 
of Uganda, you will get some words. So it was really a surprise to her. Why is the guy acting weird? <laughs> And if you are a Ugandan, you will understand Brenda why she's saying the languages are not all that different. For example, someone who is from Baganda tribe, when he or she wants to say, my God, will say Katonda Wange. But if someone, let's say, is from Ankole, where my mother is coming from, <laughs> will say Ruhanga Wange, right? <laughs> So we have Katonda Wange, then we have Ruhanga Wange. <laughs> it's not all that different. <laughs> oh, if someone says Omwana Omuntu, <laughs> Omwana Om Nobo, <laughs> I think any Ugandan will exactly understand. Or when someone wants to say he is rich, <laughs> <laughs> can say Oliom Gaga. <laughs> this is in Luganda, <laughs> but in Ankole, we we'll say Nom Giga. <laughs> um, Shisha Nom Giga, right? <laughs> I know you guys are laughing so much. Oh, so the language issue became a very big problem to this boyfriend and he insisted and insisted even if Brenda told him, no, I'm not cheating on you with this friend. I don't even know him. It was the first time seeing him. He said, no, you have been cheating on me. I don't want to keep on this relationship with you. So the visit really went so, so bad. So the boyfriend left, but Brenda tells us was really, really in love with the boyfriend. He was the first love. So she kept on calling the guy, trying to explain that, please listen to me. It's not what you think. Even the friend tried to make him understand that there is nothing going on between him and Brenda, but he never listened. So Brenda kept on trying for three months, begging him to get back to her. But what the guy did, decided to even change the phone numbers <laughs> so that Brenda does not contact him. So guys, one thing that I've learned in life is that if a guy starts accusing you of cheating and deep down you know that you are not cheating on him, you just know that something fishy is going on. <laughs> yeah, and this is what happened. Because after this guy changing his phone numbers, not wanting anything to do with Brenda, eventually Brenda came into her senses and came to understand or accept that it will never work out, that guy will never come back to her and decided to move on. So she moved on and after one year and a half, guess what? This boyfriend came back and was like, please forgive me, wanted to get back with Brenda. But at that time, had known the truth because that friend came to tell Brenda that the guy had another woman that he had impregnated. So never wanted any contact from Brenda because new Brenda was going to ruin new relationship with the new baby mama. <laughs> that is why he cut off the communication. You see, it's not that Brenda was cheating. It was the opposite. It's the guy that was cheating on Brenda and had impregnated another woman. When he came back, Brenda was like, no, I'm not taking you back. I have moved on. So just move on <laughs> with your life. So guys, that is how Brenda's first relationship ended. It ended really terribly and left Brenda very heartbroken. Started having issues with trust, trusting men. So she started her nursing school and eventually graduated. After graduating, found a job in a certain clinic in Kampala. Kla. <laughs> yeah, started working. So while working at work, could get attention from guys, <laughs> some were clients. And Brenda tells us <laughs> she was very fortunate that most guys that were interested in her were somehow financially stable because they could come with lots of expensive gifts wanting to offer money <laughs> but came a challenge <laughs> and this challenge is somehow funny <laughs> tells us had this boss of her is a woman married 
but this lady was very very greedy when it comes to money <laughs> Yeah, because whenever she could see that maybe a guy is really interested in Brenda, is bringing gifts, wanting to offer money, could make sure the next day sends Brenda somewhere else so that when the guy comes the next day, it's the boss, you know, the lady, to talk to the guy and eventually start dating the guy so that she can get the money so Brenda could lose those potential partners just like that. Right now tells us she's laughing at it and thanks God that that woman came in between because if she did not become like an obstacle, <laughs> she shouldn't have known her current boyfriend that she is crazily in love with. <laughs> so you see guys, things happen for a reason we shouldn't blame or curse when things happen <laughs> just tell god thank you keep guiding me so that i can find that right man <laughs> who will love me truly so guys brenda tells us when all that happened you know the boss coming in between she even kept on not trusting men because if you're really interested in me why should you be deceived by someone else? Of course, you should stick to what you believe, you know, pursue the relationship. So what happened is that Brenda one day was on YouTube and then came across a video of someone talking about online dating apps. And from there I was like, hmm, why not? I think I should give it a try. And this is a great chance for me. <laughs> Who has got trust issues? At least I won't be in physical contact <laughs> with these men. So Brenda decided to join online dating apps to search for the right man. So guys, to Brenda's online dating experience, Brenda tells you, oh my God, being on online dating apps, it's tough. It's not easy. You will get headache. Men are going to disappoint you cause exist lots of fake profiles, exist lots of profiles with guys who are just there to waste time, to ask for nude photos, to scam you. So it was really, really a lot. But gives you an advice that when you are online dating apps, you need to be patient and you have to be smart never open up a lot to a guy that you are chatting to on online dating apps immediately because even her never used to tell guys that i am coming from a very rich family rich background no to tell guys that i am coming from a very humble background and when it comes to her job she could tell the guys that yes i work in a clinic but never disclosed how much she earns could tell the guys even a half of that if a guy could ask why is that it's because brenda wanted a responsible guy not chatting with a guy and then the guy is doing calculations that if we are to meet in real life then brenda will be able to pay for her own ticket because she is from a rich background and is working at the clinic her salary is this no that is not what brenda wanted so she kept on with her search tells us but it was a whole big journey she joined lots of dating apps that she can't even remember them all <laughs> sam downloaded them by herself did a research before joining online dating apps but sam came to know them after coming across my YouTube channel. So some of the dating apps that she can remember joined F Dating, Afro Introductions, Tinder, Latino dating apps, human dating apps, CDFF, and E Dating. So Brenda tells us it was really a big challenge and also gave us some of the examples of the challenges she faced with some of the guys that she chatted to on those dating apps. So we are going to be starting with guy number one. And this guy was from Uganda. So Brenda tells us, found this Ugandan guy on CDFF. 
dating site they started chatting the guy seemed really nice <laughs> and very very kind generous after chatting for a while on cdff they decided to exchange their whatsapp numbers they moved to whatsapp and continued chatting there the relationship kept on growing but they never met <laughs> and brenda tells us they chatted to almost a year so there was also a time whereby brenda had to put the guy on a test to see if anything happens will this guy be there for her so sometimes she could say that oh my god i've lost my boss's money i don't know what to do then the guy could be like don't worry my love how much it is it is two hundred thousand ugandan shillings <laughs> then the boyfriend could be like i'm going to send it to you every time she could be like i have this problem the guy was ready you know <laughs> to help Brenda. Brenda really liked that. So it came a point whereby they were supposed to meet and this guy was like, I'm going to be the one to come meet you. Yes, he went and that day Brenda was at work. <laughs> so he found Brenda at work. They talked during the break, but this guy couldn't wait to be given the goodies. He even wanted Brenda to give him the goodies at work <laughs> in the office Brenda was like no I can't do that you know you have to wait aren't you embarrassed <laughs> the girl was like no for me I am ready we can do it now I want it now <laughs> so Brenda said no and then this guy invited Brenda to his house but you know Brenda staying with this guy when he came how he behaved she already concluded that <laughs> this guy only wanted the goodies <laughs> he was one of those guys that will really put their money into you but only to get your goodies <laughs> yes so it's not always about money there's some other things you really need to look into when you are dating a guy so that men don't take advantage of you. So the relationship with a Ugandan guy ended like that after Brenda saying cannot go visit the guy at his house. She returned back to online dating apps and that's when she came across a Polish guy. So this Polish guy, Brenda found him on F dating was 36 years old the guy was really open with brenda about his work his mother his brother all was good the only problem is that the guy seemed like he is chatting with lots of other girls because the communication wasn't all that that good and he kept on reducing until he disappeared brenda was hurt Cause those are sometimes you chat with people, you get attached to them. So when they disappear on you, it really hurts you due to the attachments. That is why I advise you guys do not attach yourself emotionally with these men on online dating apps, no matter how they tell you sweet words, no matter the good promises. Please, please, dear sisters. So yes, was really hurt, but told herself maybe it was not meant to be. I know one day I will find the one. I know I will find someone who will be mine just for me. That is how she could comfort herself. So guys, because Brenda kept on comforting herself, encouraging herself, she kept on searching. <laughs> yeah, never gave up even if she faced those challenges. And that is what exactly you need to do. You don't need to always tell yourself negative words that you are very ugly, you'll never find anyone, all these challenges, you are so unfortunate. No, you shouldn't tell yourself such kind of words but encourage yourself comfort yourself even if you are in a very difficult moment yeah so brenda kept on searching and then came across a british guy the guy was really nice 45 years old and brenda the age was like mm, kind old but let me keep on chatting and see 
how it's gonna go <laughs> yeah then as she kept on talking with the guy came to discover that he had lots of health issues like diabetes had high blood pressure and also breathing problems tells us whenever they could talk on a video call the guy could be snoring you know breathing in a snoring way so in brenda's mind was like if he is snoring like that he's not sleeping but if he sleeps i think i won't be able to handle this this is the same thing that i advise you guys you know with someone being sick sickness are always there it can come to anyone who is even healthy now okay so it is not something that maybe you're discriminating someone because he is sick no because even someone who is going through some health issues has got a right to fall in love has got a right to be loved but if you're going to tell a person like that that i love you then you should really really love them from your heart and be able to accept them even with their health issues but if you think that no i cannot handle this do not take a guy like that just because you are desperate to be like let me take him even if he is like this whereby deep inside you know you cannot handle it or it's not what you want so always be honest just like brenda brenda was honest and had to talk to the guy that you are a very good guy but i think i prefer keeping you as a friend not to be with you in a love relationship which is very very right it's wrong to take advantage of people i repeat dear beautiful ladies so brenda ended that relationship with a british guy and kept on with her such here comes my brother-in-law <laughs> from Italy and that's the time when Brenda checked me out on Instagram to tell me about this Italian guy. <laughs> so Brenda chatted with that Italian guy. All was good with him. The guy could update Brenda on everything that he does. But the only problem is this guy whenever they could do a video call, <laughs> he could be seated only on one position like stationed. <laughs> <laughs> and I told you if you're talking with a guy online and then he is stationed in one place not moving at all just know that he is hiding something because some of them will sit in you know in that place same same place when you call them they are there but also when they are talking to you they are not talking to you freely it's like they're scared of someone <laughs> to hear them <laughs> so that was the problem with the italian guy but again we can't jump into a conclusion immediately so brenda kept on observing that italian guy <laughs> We did not get time to talk in details about the Italian guy. Brenda was like, I'm going to get back to you. And <laughs> she never came back to me. Because <laughs> what happened is that same, same day, this guy asked for nude photos from brenda oh my god that really turned off brenda about that italian guy it was like i will never ever send you my nude pictures if you want to keep on talking to me you should stop asking me for nude pictures but the italian guy insisted was like you know you're my girlfriend what is the problem if you don't want to do like a video showing me your goodies <laughs> You can just send me the photos. What is the problem? <laughs> Brenda told him, no, no, no. He insisted. She said, no. Then he disappeared and then came back. Same, same story. Brenda still said, no, I'm not going to send you my nude pictures. And eventually he understood and gave up. <laughs> disappeared completely on Brenda. 
So you who is out there on online dating apps complaining that you are facing lots of challenges, men are asking you nude pictures, just remember that even Brenda faced that challenge. The story with an Italian guy, this was January 2023. <laughs> Not so long, but right now we are in August telling Brenda's success story, whereby in January she was there frustrated going through lots of challenges on online dating apps. Even you that is watching this video now, <laughs> you are facing lots of challenges, but after two or three months, we'll be here telling your online dating success love story. These things are possible, guys. Finding a right guy on online dating apps is possible. So guys, the challenges were really, really many <laughs> that Brenda faced and also tells us there is this dating site whereby she joined three times because every time she could join could fail when it comes to chatting she could not understand better on how to chat with men she didn't know how to use the free version of that dating app but after coming across my youtube videos on youtube then i uploaded a video on how to chat with men for free on a free version followed all the steps you know the tips that i gave and opened again that dating site, then started chatting with guys who were paying only. If you are not paying on that dating app, Brenda could ignore you, which is what I advised you guys. So after the Italian guy's story failing, Brenda returned again to that dating site and started searching. That was March 2023 this year so some other messages that brenda could ignore were messages like hi let us communicate on whatsapp this is my whatsapp number when brenda could come across such kind of message could be like if we cannot chat here what are we going to chat on whatsapp i don't even know you <laughs> yeah so kept on with her search for the right man and one day received a message on that dating site and this message <laughs> was hi this is my whatsapp number let us communicate on whatsapp when she saw that was like why do people text women like this they don't have respect for us <laughs> And what she did after receiving that message, <laughs> decided to go to the guy's profile and start looking at his photo, his bio, going through everything, got a feeling like this guy seemed really nice. But why text me like this? So she decided to screenshot the numbers, but never responded to him. So the next day, Brenda returned to the app to see if the guy texted her again. There was no message and that guy's subscription had expired. So there was no way for them to communicate. So when she saw that the subscription had expired, was like, okay, law, <laughs> and kept on with her search. Then after a week, nothing was happening on the app, decided, to text the guy on that number and was like hello do you remember me you gave me your number on the site mentioned the name of the site whereby i'm going to be telling you the name of that dating site before i end this video because <laughs> that is where they found each other so after messaging him it took him two good days to respond and Brenda tells us she remembers very very well that day was at a client's house had gone to do some medication and was waiting for the medicine to complete then received his message so he responded he was like hello I want to know what you are looking for 
on the dating site. So Brenda responded, I'm not going to hide you. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm looking for someone genuine. I'm looking for true love. So this guy, his name is Alex. <laughs> Let us stop it with this guy. Yeah, this Romanian guy. His name is Alex. So Alex was like, that is what every woman says on the dating site that I'm looking for true love. I'm looking for someone genuine. Brenda was like, actually, yes, <laughs> exists lots of fake profiles on the dating site, but I am looking for a genuine person. I'm searching for true love. So they talked for some few minutes and Alex, all he could tell Brenda was all his tragical experience in his life was like I was married before but my wife left me alone and then had an accident a very very bad accident lost my dad may his soul keep resting in peace amen so told Brenda it is me and my mother only in this world I've been very very unfortunate in life the only thing Brenda could say is I am sorry I am sorry I am sorry because Brenda is a very quiet person, very, very quiet. I think I'll see if I get time, I make you hear a bit of her voice note when we were chatting and you can tell she's really, really quiet and so sweet. So after chatting for those few minutes, Alex was like, I have to go. And Brenda was like, me too, because I have to return to the clinic. So that day ended like that. The following day, so guys, the following day, Brenda thought that waking up in the morning will find his message. <laughs> but no guys, Alex never wrote the following day. It was quiet and Brenda never looked for him kept on waiting but nothing so the next day brenda decided to write to him like how are you what happened you went quiet and wait for the response guys afro cinema <laughs> so brenda tells us when she wrote to him it was 10 in the morning and then he responded was like brenda you are a very good woman very nice very kind but i think you should find another man someone else who will love you i don't deserve you i am very very unlucky in life i wish you all the best and kept on and kept on telling brenda all the negative things that have happened to him in his life so brenda tried to put some positivity into him was like don't declare negativity on yourself please please alex was like i think you're a very kind woman very intelligent but still you don't deserve me so brenda seeing him insisting that you should find someone else i can't be with you in the end you know she can't insist a lot was like okay no problem so they kept on talking as friends and alex kept on opening up so started telling brenda he has been actually chatting with other girls two girls and one was from asia a chinese lady and this lady could take lots of money from alex whenever he could give it could not be enough for her <laughs> she kept on asking and then told her that i'm chatting with another nigerian lady she's kind older than me but the biggest problem is that she's always online even after exchanging whatsapp numbers i told you guys if you exchange whatsapp numbers with a guy you are talking you know you are in good terms everything is going good there is no need for that guy to go back to online dating apps this applies too to men you have exchanged whatsapp numbers with a guy everything is good with this guy getting to know each other and he seems serious then you go to online dating apps if he decides to spy on you and finds you online then 
that's trouble for you it's gonna end so alex was complaining about the nigerian lady and was like with the nigerian lady i am done but i don't know how to deal with this chinese lady <laughs> that is taking money from me so at that point <laughs> brenda is a friend brenda started advising the guy giving him the tips on how to go about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah and he was really really happy so after talking for quite some days <laughs> all is good then brenda was like okay alex you know we are friends but we can't keep on like this so i have to wish you all the best bye <laughs> so they said bye but again alex could still write to brenda and brenda was like what is wrong with this guy <laughs> he keeps on writing to me but he told me he cannot be with me <laughs> so why keep on writing to me <laughs> but all the time alex could write still brenda could respond never ignored him <laughs> Yeah, and then one day Alex was like, I'm done with the lady from China. <laughs> it's over. And he really, really looked so desperate. Desperate as in wanting to settle down. Yeah, so later, Brenda was like, why you keep on writing to me? <laughs> so Alex told her, it's because you are a nice lady and I want to keep you. <laughs> So from there, he kept on opening up about his life, you know, more about his personal things. And eventually, they decided to start dating. <laughs> yeah. So that same, same month, March 2023, on 7th, <laughs> few days after chatting with Brenda, being in a relationship, <laughs> He started talking of meeting Brenda in Uganda, was like, I want to come visit you. Brenda could not believe it, thought maybe he is just joking. So in her mind could be like, am I lucky or am I being scammed here? <laughs> Because it was very hard for her to believe it. <laughs> so guys, because I had warned you about men from Romania that you should be careful. So when Brenda was communicating with Alex, what she could do <laughs> to assure herself this guy is single, is living alone, whenever they could be on a video call, yes, he could call sometime, maybe he is in bed. <laughs> But Brenda could ask about something. For example, tells us he has got a cat. So sometimes Brenda could ask about the cat. That where is the cat? <laughs> Mentioning the cat's name. And okay, let me show you where the cat is. Because if I call her, <laughs> she won't come. So he could go move around, you know, show the kitchen everywhere and call the cat. Eventually arrive to the cat. <laughs> And Brenda could see the cat. Yes, of course, wanted to see the cat, but also wanted to navigate around the house. <laughs> so that is how she succeeded, <laughs> navigating through, see everything. But also Alex sometimes could go open the fridge. You know, I left this one. I was cooking this. He is free because if a man is free, you will see when talking. <laughs> Yeah. So after Alex talking of going to Uganda, he also made the next move, which was introducing Brenda to the mother. The mother does not speak English and Brenda does not speak Romanian, but they could just say hi <laughs> and smile at each other, which is good. Yeah. On Brenda's side, you're going to find out when did she introduce him to her parents? So he kept on talking about his plans to go to Uganda, told Brenda, I want to talk to my boss so that I can be given leave. And also told Brenda, tomorrow I'm going to see my agents, <laughs> the travel agents. And yes, the next day was like, I'm from my travel agents. Now I want to book for my accommodation and after that told brenda the name of the hotel that he booked 
Brenda knew the name of the hotel, but still was like, ah, in her mind, maybe this guy is trying to lie to me. Maybe he Googled the name, <laughs> you know, to tell me. So she was not a hundred percent sure that Alex will go to Uganda to meet her. So she kept on not believing until Alex told her in Romania, there is no Ugandan embassy, you know, to apply for his visa. He found a way out on where to apply his visa. And when he got his visa to Uganda, <laughs> sent it to Brenda. And that's when Brenda was like, wow, it's true. <laughs> he is coming. Oh my God. She was very happy over the moon and said to God, thank you. So on 21st April, 2023, one month after them being girlfriend and boyfriend, Alex went to Uganda. He arrived, it was at night, told Brenda, do not come to pick me at the airport because it's late already. Let us meet tomorrow in the morning. In Brenda's mind was like, ah, are you meeting someone else? Why don't you want me to come at the airport to pick you? <laughs> but I was like, okay, let's meet tomorrow. So in the morning, he invited her for breakfast and Brenda went after arriving. Oh my God. She was so happy to meet him and he was so happy too to meet him. They hugged. And at that time in Brenda's mind is like, yes, now I'm dating a Muzungu. <laughs> <laughs> this is really really funny and sweet at the same time <laughs> so that is the time that brenda believed oh yes he is real <laughs> and tells us they really enjoyed so much in uganda kampala you know time together and i know now you my goodies lovers <laughs> you want to know <laughs> bella when when <laughs> So the first day they went for sightseeing, they enjoyed very, very much. And after that, went to his hotel room, hugged, but never kissed. Brenda said no, because tells us kissing is her weakness. <laughs> so kissing him could have, you know, <laughs> made her soften up and give the goodies very, very fast. <laughs> So she said no, but the second day, <laughs> that's when they enjoyed the goodies. <laughs> but Brenda tells us she really risked and was like, I don't know. Let me hope this guy won't disappear on me when he returns to his country. <laughs> But anyways, she took a risk and tells us had spent 10 years without giving out her goodies. <laughs> Applies the same too to Alex. <laughs> so they both really wanted it so, so much. <laughs> and it went super good. They enjoyed very, very much. So their tour in Kampala continued and Brenda tells us she's not someone that likes taking photos, not at all. But whenever they could go on sightseeing, Alex could tell her, let us take a photo together. And that's a good sign, guys, that the guy really likes you. If the guy comes to visit you or you go visit him, he does not want to take pictures with you. <laughs> girl we have got a very big problem <laughs> so yes they could take pictures together memories <laughs> and one time tells us something funny happened so there is this taxi driver who used to take them around the city to see tourist attractions and then in the evening could return brenda home told brenda that boss this guy you have is real i've met lots lots of white guys but this guy is very respectful he's very very decent compared to what i have seen when brenda had that I was like oh really wow but at heart was really really happy that at least someone apart from her can see how good how genuine alex is so when did brenda introduce alex 
to the parents. One week before Alex went to Uganda, talked to her dad and was like, dad, I met this friend on social media. He's from Romania and wants to come and visit me. When he is here, I would like to bring him to you so that you can meet him. Cause they had talked already if Alex goes to Uganda to visit, then the second time it will be Brenda who will go to Romania to visit Alex. And cause Brenda's father is very, very protective. Wouldn't allow Brenda leave Uganda, go to Romania to a guy that he has never seen. So that is why Brenda had to talk to the dad and after a week of alex being in uganda that is when brenda took alex to go meet the dad bought lots of gifts and then they took the gifts <laughs> to her parents arriving there all were happy to see alex and alex too was so so happy they stayed there for some hours and then returned back to Kampala. So guys, so the question that most of you are always interested in is if Alex <laughs> was spoiling Brenda before they met. The answer is no, because they were chatting for a very short period of time <laughs> to start spoiling each other. <laughs> but when he went to Uganda, brought loads of gifts for Brenda and also Alex's mother sent a very special gift for Brenda, which was a Romanian traditional wear, traditional dress and some perfumes. Brenda was really, really happy. Of course, who wouldn't have been happy to receive all those gifts? And guys, to be honest, that was a very good sign that the mother-in-law is accepting you and is welcoming you into their family. So after Alex enjoying good times with Brenda in Uganda, had to return to Romania. She was very sad, he was sad, but again promised each other to meet very, very soon. And yes, when Alex arrived in Romania, same, same week, started the visa process for Brenda to go to Romania. Guys, this is a serious guy. A serious guy will stick to his words and he won't want to waste loads of time chatting with you or telling you I am saving. I told you guys, stay away from Mr. I am saving. <laughs> he should have a plan and this guy is a true definition of a man who has got a plan. So guys, when they started the process for Brenda to go to Romania, tells us at that time, oh my goodness, Alex could spoil her very, very much with money. Sent her lots of money for the visa process. Cause in Uganda, there is no Romanian embassy. So she had to go to Nairobi and Alex sent her enough money, but again told her, you just and if it is not enough, just let me know. <laughs> so Brenda tells us, oh my God, she enjoyed it a lot. And when she returned at work, the boss could see her eating good. Everything has changed. <laughs> and could be like, what is going on, Brenda? <laughs> that is because Alex was really, really spoiling her. These 2 million, 3 million Ugandan shillings, yeah, he could send. So yes, guys, Brenda applied for her visa to Romania and yes, eventually got her visa, but with Alex's help on everything. He even sent her money to put in her bank account. You know, the bank statement situations at the embassy. So Alex helped her with that paid for the visa fee, paid for the ticket, everything. Brenda did not spend even a coin on that trip. So the day to travel came and yes, she flew to Romania. She was really scared because it was her first time to travel. Yeah, but I told you, you have to take risks <laughs> if you are going to put yourself in an interracial relationship. Yeah, so Brenda arrived safe in Romania. Alex was so happy to meet her again. They were all happy to reunite, hugged each other 
and then the second day went to visit the mother-in-law <laughs> meet her for the first time and tells us oh my god she did not even expect it will go the way it went because she was welcomed very very well her mother-in-law is very kind is very sweet is a nice woman gave her lots of gifts gold necklaces gold bangles that she even showed her you know a certificate that this is real gold <laughs> gave her sunglasses a pass and more perfumes <laughs> brenda was very very happy of how her mother-in-law is very loving and so so kind she cooked for them enjoyed so much at her house and then returned back home something else that is very very sweet about alex also when brenda arrived in romania gave her a thousand euro to keep as pocket money when they go out if she wants to buy something then buys it but again brenda tells us whenever they go out he always buy things for her <laughs> so she finds herself not using the pocket money that she was given oh my god good guys still exist guys you see <laughs> you just need to be very patient and keep praying to god to bring that right man to you so guys brenda thanks god to bring alex into her life and she is at her happy place now and as i'm talking right now guys brenda is still in romania enjoying good times with alex and his family so guys i also got a chance to talk with alex ask him a bit of his story and he was like yes it was so challenging to find someone serious someone who is ready to settle down and start a family but what attracted me more to brenda is because she was very kind very nice very intelligent i liked her profile very very much her pictures <laughs> and that's why i got so curious also i saw that brenda is family oriented wants to settle down and start a family so guys if you write something on your description when you are talking to a guy you should show him that yes what i wrote is how i am so to the big question which dating app did they meet each other they met on our another famous <laughs> dating site called afro introductions did brenda pay for the dating apps no tells us loved her money enough to not pay on the dating apps so i told you she was using the free version and alex was paying then met brenda the last day of his subscription but thank god it all went well guys never jump into a conclusion and always give a guy some chance to see if he is the one or not this takes me to Romanian men the video that I did I also talked with Alex about this as like you know most ladies are so scared to chat with Romanian guys due to how they are playing games online due to how they are fantasizing <laughs> they're so good at that what do you advise a lady who is on online dating apps and is scared to chat with someone from Romania you know what Bella the truth is everywhere exists good and bad men I cannot say all Romanian guys are good or all romanian guys are bad it depends with someone's character so guys always observe study the guy that you are chatting to it's very very important observe also the red flags i know some of you would like to know their next plans of course their next plans is to get married and i'm going to be updating you when that happens right now let us just wish them all the best brenda and alex i wish you all the best in your relationship so that you can achieve all your dreams all your plans that you have planned 
So guys, yes, I know this video has been really, really long, but I cannot end it without a lady who found love on online dating apps giving you the advice. So you are going to be listening to Brenda herself giving you the advice. I have got some voice notes. Enjoy that and take notes. Advice. The advice I would give girls is uh, be patient, as I had said earlier, be patient. You might talk to thousand, a thousand guys and they're all not the right one for you. Like, like as how I've told you that I talk to some, some guys and you think that, wow, he's the one. And then it actually turns out not to be the one. Like, be patient. If one doesn't work out, move on to, like, talk to another and... Don't talk to any only one person. Chat with more than one. It can be ten. And if all of them are not right, delete the numbers, delete the contacts. If you're talking on WhatsApp or maybe block, it's your phone. It's your right. Like if you feel you're not pleased with someone, just move on. Find someone that can give you peace. Find someone that can understand you. And uh, second thing, online dating is not easy. But I, I wish a point like, of like giving up. But then I did want this physical, I was so com not so confident with the physical dating. Not until I'm sure that the person is right, but and it's really hard to tell that he is the one when you're with him. He would man for goodies. He would want to see you every now and then. He would do what you want. But online, don't be so open. Don't tell them everything. But then don't limit yourself. Don't ignore messages. Because <laughs> if I had ignored Alex's message, I wouldn't be with him right now. Like try to try to talk to each and everyone. Only the one that you see is, is, is not worth your time, don't reply. But try to talk with each and every one. As long as they are in the age, age gap that you, you like, try to talk to everyone. You never know. You know, Bella, there is this advice that I got from the internet. And this lady was advising girls that... If you're traveling to this country, you can buy your own ticket, be independent, mm, like pay for your hotel. Like if you want to do that, then it's okay. But in uh, my point of view, let him do it for you. Because you never know. That's the first step for him to show that he cares. Like he really wants to meet you. Like he really wants you to be next to him you know if I pay for my own ticket if I do everything for myself how will I know that he will he, he cares for me how does he show, how will he show that he cares how will he show that he wants me in his country because you know among these other guys I've talked to they will promise they will promise to take you to, to their country they will promise to just to bring you to their country but they end up not doing so so if you do it yourself it will be like you're taking yourself there but he doesn't actually need you there he's just playing with your mind playing with your heart so let him at least do that let him at least book a ticket for you at least that so uh, to be sure and some other people book tickets. They show you that they have booked it for you and they cancel. I don't know if you've had that case. He books the ticket and if he, after showing you that he booked the ticket for you, he cancels it. Because someone told me about that thing. I don't know if you had such cases, Bella. And another thing, Bella, no goodies rule still applies. <laughs> Uh, I risked a 
but then it turns out it turned out good but it won't be the same way with another girl so no good is rule still applies so dear friends we have come to an end of our today's love story i really hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good don't forget to comment below what you think about this love story i would like to know please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed i love you so much you are always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.